Friday, the 20th of November, 1992, a work light which had been left too close to a curtain started a fire inside the Queen's private chapel at Windsor Castle. Within minutes, the 300-year-old room was ablaze. The fire moved through the Crimson Drawing Room and St. George's Hall and showed no signs of slowing. The following morning, the full scale of the disaster became apparent. 100 rooms had been damaged, nine completely gutted. In reality, the Queen doesn't own Windsor or any of the other royal palaces and estates. After her coronation, she, like every monarch for the last 200 years, signed a contract handing over all crown lands and buildings and their vast rental income to the government for the rest of her life. In return, she receives a large annual allowance. So legally, Windsor is the taxpayer's responsibility. But with the family's reputation at its lowest levels in a generation, the public didn't care. I used to like them a lot at one time, but now each time you read all what's going on, you think, well, you've gone right off of them. I think a whole lot of them should be strung up. Who do you think should pay for the restoration? Not the public. Why, why should we pay? Government don't pay, we pay. The Queen realised she needed to act. She needed to rebuild both Windsor and the reputation of the monarchy, and fast. A week after the fire, the Queen called a secret meeting of key family members and trusted advisors. They formed what's known as the Way Ahead Group. The meeting of the Way Ahead Group ended with a plan. Insisting that the taxpayers foot the bill for the fire was now out of the question. Instead, the Queen offered to raise the money by opening up her London headquarters to paying visitors. In August 1993, just eight months after the fire at Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace opened its doors to paying visitors for the first time. It was an enormous success. Nearly 400,000 people paid $10 a ticket to take the tour. Money was pouring into the Windsor Restoration Fund. Two years after the devastating fire at Windsor Castle, a huge restoration program began, and hundreds of craftsmen were working to return it to its former glory. Five years to the day after the fire that had destroyed it, the restoration of Windsor Castle was complete. 